And here is where we're going to assess if, in fact, high school GPA is a significant predictor of college GPA or not. So in other words, is it statistically significant? Does it help us predict college GPA beyond chance alone? And interestingly, in simple regression, we can use either the ANOVA table or the coefficients table to answer that question. Notice the p-value here in ANOVA of 0 0.005. And then if you go down to coefficients for high school GPA, notice the exact same p-value at 0 0.005 once again. So these two p-values are identical. This one here under the ANOVA table and this one here under coefficients. These are both testing the exact same thing. Whether high school GPA is a significant predictor of college GPA or not. And the way we can assess this is using our same decision rule as always. And if we use alpha 0.05, that decision rule would be as follows. If P is less than or equal to 0.05, the test is significant, which for our example would mean that high school GPA is a significant predictor of college GPA. If P is less than or equal to 0.05, the test is significant, which in our example would mean that high school GPA is a significant predictor of college GPA. If, on the other hand, P is greater than 0.05, the test is not significant, which in our example would mean that high school GPA is not a significant predictor of college GPA. Well, whether we look at the ANOVA table or the coefficients table, we can see that the p-value is equal to 0 0.005. When we compare that to our two conditions here, we can see that that falls in our first condition, 0 0.005 is less than or equal to 0 0.05. So that indicates that the test is significant, meaning that high school GPA is a significant predictor of college GPA. Next, we'll write our results in APA format. And we can write the results using either the ANOVA table or the coefficients table. As you recall that both tables provided the information necessary to determine whether or not high school GPA was a significant predictor of college GPA. So here, for the ANOVA table, we could report the results as follows. High school GPA was a significant predictor of college GPA. And here we put an F because with the ANOVA we're using the F statistic. And then we have degrees of freedom of 1 and 8, which can be found in the DF column. 1 for regression and 8 for residual, respectively. And then we have an F of 14.97, which you can see here when we round to two decimal places. And our P is equal to 0 0.005, as we saw before, that's shown right here. And then finally we report our R squared as well which, as you recall, was in the model summary table under the column R-squared, and usually that's reported in decimal form when we use this format. Next, we'll take a look at reporting the results using the coefficients table. And if we write the results in APA format using the coefficients table, we want to focus on these three values which are highlighted on your screen. And that is the beta coefficient, our standardized coefficient, and that's equal to 0.81. Our t-value, which is equal to 3.87, rounding to two decimal places. And then finally our p, which we've seen before and is equal to 0 